Like just before impact, that's when the pilot was like, hey, watch out, we're going to hit. A Tracy couple describes a hellish hot air balloon ride with a crash and a boy knocked unconscious. When they say it ruined their romantic getaway, it was time to call Curtis. Yeah, it was supposed to be a romantic thing to do for Valentine's Day. After helping save the life of a six year old hurt in the accident, all they want is an apology and a refund. I said this was before it got really bad. All smiles minutes into Michael and Amber Frank's Valentine's Day hot air balloon ride over Sonoma. But minutes later, we came like that. So we came, we hit the ground, and when we hit, the basket begins to flip over. The impact, he says, sent them and two other families on board flying. So all the passengers were kind of thrown to the front of the basket where there was a little boy. Um, he got crushed underneath. Michael says the pilot seen here got them airborne again, but the crushed six year old was not breathing. He says his wife Amber performed CPR, reviving the boy. He was in and out of consciousness, his eyes were rolling back. The boy's family shared this photo with us, saying he suffered a broken clavicle and a punctured lung. The NTSB is investigating the accident, and in its preliminary report says the pilot admitted he misjudged the wind. The Franks say their trip was ruined and that they asked the owner of a balloon over Sonoma for a refund. His response to me was, well, why do you think you should get a refund? You got an adventure, didn't you? After the company's owner, Captain Chuck, did not return our repeated calls, our producer paid him a visit. Nobody was home, but she did track down the pilot, okay. William These Sowers, who owns back. the balloon. We want to know what happened that day. Well, why don't you talk to the people that are propagating the story for you? Okay, but well, we want to get your side of the story. You were the operator that day. You were the pilot. I've got nothing to say. He did point us to the company's website, which says there's a chance of personal injury or damage or loss of property. But personal injury attorney Anthony Gorilli says a waiver may not cover the company if it was negligent. If that company and its operators did anything to increase the risk of danger, then they're liable. The NTSB is investigating. A final report is not expected for months, although we noticed on the preliminary report, it only mentions four people on board, listing injuries as one serious, three uninjured. We know of at least nine people on board that day, and when we asked Pilot Sowers about the discrepancy, he told us he's not saying anything on the advice of counsel. You so all are trespassing right now, so just, I need to be left alone. I'll see you later. Thank you. The Franks say they have yet to get a refund. Although they did walk away relieved, knowing the six year old survived. Yeah, we didn't get the best experience out of it, but we were there for a reason. He's alive. Well, we have made the NTSB aware of the discrepancy in the number of passengers. It said it can't comment during the investigation, but acknowledged preliminary reports sometimes have errors. The couple says they booked the trip through a third party company called Rush Cube. We reached out to them as well, but they did not get back to us. The Franks have challenged the charge with their bank. Overall, how common are these uh, air balloon uh, accidents? You know, uh, we just had uh, one this week right. in the Bay Area, but right. since 2005, the NTSB reports 139 accidents, and in those accidents, uh, 17 people died. So mm -hmm. there is risk associated with going up there, and a lot of these companies do have you sign those waivers ahead of time, so you acknowledge you know that risk. Sure. Well, good to know. Yep. All right. If you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can call our hotline Monday through Friday, or you could always go to our website and fill out our form.